Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see that how we can work with the MySQL database in our play project. Before working with MySQL database, you should have MySQL on your machine. I have already installed WAM server. So if you guys have another software to work with the MySQL, then it's okay. I'm going to use the WAM server to work with the MySQL. To install WAM server, just go to Google and type WAMP server and download uh, this uh, according to your operating system. If your operating system is 64 bit, then you are going to download this version, or if it's uh, 32 bit, then you guys are going to download this version. Before installing this WAM server, you should also install this uh, Visual Studio 12 distribution file. This is very small file. So first uh, download this file and install it. Then install WAM server after installing this file. Let me fire up my WAM server. Let's go to localhost. And go to php my admin to work with the mysql database uh, username is root and password is blank let's go to databases and let's create a database for our play project let's call it bookstore db Now our database is ready and go to play documentation here type mysql and go to this link. Here you guys can see that uh, to work with mysql we have to add this dependency. If we scroll down we can see that uh, we have this uh, documentation about uh, JDBC connections. We have different uh, properties for different databases for Postgres, SQLite and uh, MySQL. We will be using MySQL in this video. So what we need to do is first if we scroll down, let's copy this URL, go to build.sbt and add this dependency here. After that, we have to add JDBC dependency as well. Let's add it here like this. Perfect. Okay. After adding these dependencies, we can see this section for MySQL database properties. Let's copy this. Let's go to our config file. Scroll down and let's paste it here. You can remove this DB from here just like this. So it will leave you like this. This is the connection properties for H2 database and this is the connection properties for MySQL database. So right now we want to work with MySQL. So that's why I'm going to comment these properties. Right. And this is the name of the database that you want to use to work with this uh, play project. BookstoreDB. Perfect. And the username for this is root and password is blank. So we can type empty string here. Everything looks fine to me. Let's run our application. First update your application to resolve and download that MySQL dependency. Because I have already downloaded and installed it. Uh, so that's why it is not going to download it again. 
but in your case it will download that uh, mysql dependency and after that uh, you will be able to see this uh, section let's run it and let's go to our page right now you can see that uh, in our database there is one table which is a play evolution table right now you can ignore this table let's apply this script and let's refresh it again and now we have this book table if we go to the structure of this book table you can see that we have this title price author id of this book perfect let's create a simple book okay let's create this book and let's go ahead and verify it from here and our book is uh, added into our database so this is how you guys can work with the mysql database if you guys want to work with another database then you can also do that you just have to add the dependency of that database and you have to copy these properties uh, and uh, and work around with these properties that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the next video we are going to include bootstrap and uh, jquery into our project so that uh, we can make uh, this uh, some professional looking application so that's all for this video i will catch you in the next one thank you so much for watching